Okay, we are at Flame Out. And... Out. And... Water. water running through there. That's not going anywhere for a minute. Can you hold on to it? Water is on right here, and I'm going to turn this down, open this up, and that is choked down. And now I need to turn on the pump. Pump this on, and now, very first thing I want to get the sanitizer out of here. Black ale, <laughs> if it is an India black ale, don't call it Cascadian dark. And that looks like that is beer. And so I am going to recirculate. So I am going to run that up at full bar just to get the mass of the beer at temperature. And water is running full bore. So this is a small hose. Temperature is still gonna be probably around 100 on the first pass, which is fine. I could choke it down, but I'd rather just chill the bulk of it down to around 100, quickly. And we're at 120 right now. And just to kind of show this is pretty neat, you choke this down, slow down should pretty quickly adjust the temperature, or not. Yeah, not much. I take that back. It will later on. Can we get your cardboard closer? Um, yeah, if you want to grab it. You want to give it one more shake and then... Sure. And then dump, dump the rest of it in there. Let's get on with it. Real Dumping into the cattle because I'm not really all that worried about top side aeration. I also do not believe in the boogeyman. Assuming this part's going to get edited out because this is not exactly. Now, I don't think we're giving the, that brewing to those brewing TV guys a run for their money. Well, you're recirculating right now, so it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. As soon as you choke it down to go to the carboy, mm -hmm. that's the money. Yeah. Oh, I'm tired. Camlock, over from Pro, Pro, Pro Flow Dynamics. Bargain Fittings also has them. They, also, they just happened to be out of stock when I was buying them. Is it Blickman? I think that's how you say the barometer. Hose tip disconnects on my garden hoses, which are not leaking one iota. They are absolutely worth the seven dollars, or six dollars, whatever they are. We are at ninety right now, and I bet if I choke this output down, come on, drama. You're chilling it down right now? 
Yeah, I'm just trying to see how far it'll go down. We're going past. Look at that thing just drop. I love that. Yep. Yeah, it's not cool to the touch now. We're not cool to the touch, but it's not hot. We didn't hear, hear any sizzle when I did that. <laughs> and this is an ale, so I'm just going to try and get it down to about 60-ish or so. It's also, you know, about 40 degrees out here at Kaiser's, so uh, the groundwater temp is not an issue. I'd like to give a shout out to my peeps, Billy Clark, who couldn't make it today. Kate Bruin, who's out in Colorado or someplace. Paul the Nurse, who's keeping Alice happy. Anybody else who would have liked to have come but couldn't. Well, we are pretty damn close to 70. See if I run this full, what kind of temperature do I get? You've been running at full blast at this point, you're looking at like 80 degrees. This is a five gallon batch, although given my brewing capabilities, that really means it could be anywhere from four to about eight. So this timing may vary a little bit for you. This this case, this uh, hose is also small diameter, so that's choking me down a little bit. If I use the regular garden hose, I get, I'm sure I get a little bit more temperature. A little more temperature change. And now I am going to choke this down all the way. And now, see the butter bottle. And now we will start putting the wort into the better bottle. Now I need to be really careful about the temperature. A little hot. And that's choked down a little too much, actually. Choke it all the way down, then you know. I have a negative effect on your volume. I bet a lot of money that uh, old Dakota here. This video will end up having music on top of it. He'll cut out my audio and he'll probably talk over top of it. I bet a lot of money on that. You know, unless Dave has a stick in the back on the other side. Yeah, we are at 70. I don't know if ramp this up a little. I'm not afraid of pitching at 72 or 74 or 75. It's not ideal, but I've done it, and I'll be damned if I can tell the difference. Should already be, uh... It you know, should already be locked into your brain, but do not screw the phone. And you can start saying. If you're curious, this is a India Black Ale, I like to call it. I don't like the term Cascadian Dark Ale. Gotta give some props to Mr. Noonan. It's a uh, five gallon batch. A lot of base malt because my efficiency sucks. 10 ounces of Carafa Tree um, Special, 6 ounces of Pale Chocolate, and 8 ounces of Crystal Enjoy. Hopped with uh, Cascade and Fuggles for flavor and aroma. Not Cascade, duh. Fuggles and East Kent Goldings, 
and uh, Dinner and Hop is a uh, challenger. Notice no leaks anywhere. I'm worried about this pump getting wet, but thinking that it was a dumb design, but as long as things stay dry, that's fine. This is taking longer than I would have hoped. The keg cowboy may not really want to uh, put this on his website. But damn it. That's the truth. If I had done Bobby M, either the these are the, uh, whatchamacallit, these are the, uh, barb fittings, which are probably not ideal. The flow does seem to be impacted a little bit when I'm, uh, when I'm, uh, using the, uh, when I'm, when I'm actually taking water out of it instead of water. With water, they flow went great, they have a great, a little bit, uh, higher viscosity of the work to the seal down a bit. I would probably do the Bobby M method if I were, uh, doing it all over again. And grind down the threads on the, on the male, on the male thread connectors. This part of getting mad at it because I did not run out of volume already. Well, if I did. Oh, I told you I'm like, a bad brewer. Killing me. My spark is also pretty slow. This, this works wonderfully in four gallon batches as well as five and ten. dry. Uh, yeah, I really ain't much left in there. A gallon and a, that's my half gallon or so of dead space. I need to uh, redo my dip tube and make it a little bit lower, but it is what it is. It's not going to happen today. No, I didn't. So. Alright, it's a big beer. Oh, I forgot to take my, uh, fair to check my gravity. Little bits of work. And I'm falling out of here. Oh, is that gonna be enough? Come on, guys. Oh, that's all foam. <laughs> Do I even need to aerate this? A little more. 